Let's get a look now at area road conditions. The NFTA's Dave Cash joins us with that. Dave? Thanks, Kathleen. We have an accident on the 290 eastbound, just past Main Street, off on the right shoulder, causing some backups to our own Millers for it. Amherst police are there. You can see you're under speed jumping to that 90 westbound ramp. And up in Lewiston, look out for an accident on Route 31 west of Niagara, Wheatfield Senior High School at Saunders Settlement and Walmore Roads. In Maine and Harlem, that traffic signal is on flash. And expect the international bridges to be real busy tomorrow as it is Canada Day. Just want to say quickly, had the privilege of meeting Tom Joles for the first time last month. When I introduced myself, he told me he used to listen to me on Oldies 104 on his way home from the 11 o'clock news. And I wanted to say that that was the biggest thrill for me in my 22 years in radio and TV. Thanks, Tom. I'm Dave Cash with your NFTA traffic and transit update for Channel 7 Eyewitness News. And thank you, Dave. Meteorologist Andy Parker has some company on the weather outside oh, today, yeah. and uh, he's got a lot of people out yeah, there. Yeah, I can't remember the last time we had the weather set dressed up like this. We've had Charlie the Butcher out here before, but he's got the grill going this afternoon. We've got the table set up. Cheryl has the, uh, the other amenities that go along with the barbecue here at uh, Channel 7. But this Wednesday's barbecue is here for a good reason. It's uh, Tom Joel's last weather forecast, I guess we could call it. And uh, there's a few people here that want to make a presentation. Before we do that, let's take a look at Skycam 7 and show you what the sky looks like this evening. It shapes up like this. Just a few puffy white clouds out there, thinning out. A little bit of sunshine, 71 degrees right now. Very cool on the outside and should be a very pleasant evening as we head through the remainder of the day. And uh, as we said, there is a presentation to be made. Many of these have happened over the past few weeks. This is Tom Glebe from the mayor's office. And uh, you have something you'd like to present to Tom. Yes, I do. Thank you, Andrew. Tom, on behalf of Mayor Anthony Masiello and the city of Buffalo, uh, and a personal note, my 24-year history. Now, you've dated me. I thought I was a teenager when you started, but I was actually 24 <laughs> years old. Um, we're sad to see you go, but we're happy that you're going healthy and vibrant and with a wonderful family. I think you have six uh, children and yes. ten grandchildren. Yes. A lot and of a, them are here, right? And a here. wife who's willing to spend retirement with you. That's right. Um, we have a proclamation from the city of Buffalo. I'm not going to read this whole thing. It's, uh, it's wordy, uh, but we just want to thank you from all of us uh, young, young at heart who remember uh, Commander Tom uh, very fondly and certainly remember AccuWeather being um, made famous in Buffalo and probably the most watched um, weather cast in Buffalo. And your uh, pals, Rick Azar, and um, who was that other guy? Irv. Irv, I think Irv his name Weinstein. was Irv. Yeah, yeah, Did I he go to four? No, he just retired from seven. <laughs> um, right. and, uh, I was going to say, yes. we, uh, unfortunately, time is always a All factor. Right, very here. quickly. And Tom would like to go home. Tom tonight. Joel's <laughs> day. Tom Joel's day. Uh, and we wish you uh, best wishes for a long, healthy, and salubrious retirement. Thank you, Tom. Uh, Tom Thank congratulations. You. Uh, the pin from the city of Buffalo, from the mayor and the citizens of Buffalo, oh, you always good. have the key to the city and to our hearts. And the watch from the city, from Mayor Masiello, uh, uh, in retirement, one, you won't have time to read it because you'll be much too busy. You'll fill up that time, <laughs> and uh, you won't have anywhere you have to be. Seal of the city of Buffalo. The seal of the city of Buffalo. Tom, thank, thank you very much. much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, you know, appreciate it. I think that'd fit me, Tom. That's it's pretty nice. You probably would, isn't it? Who are all these people, anyway? <laughs> are you related to all of these people? Well, I think so. Yes, as a matter of fact, it definitely. Yeah. Now you know, over the years, we've made fun of Tom's ties and, and Tom's jackets, but uh, <laughs> you've really outdone yourself today. I got to tell you. Where did you get that? Well, I figured I might as well wear something that people will remember me by. You know, so I I found this. I, it's. It's been around for a while. Yeah, Pinky Lee used to wear it, I think. <laughs> anyway, don't go away, because we'll be back to you in a minute. Now, you know, all of this uh, fanfare out here is for our very old Tom Joles. In case you've uh, in case you've been in a cave for a couple of months, you might know that Tom is retiring after 34 years here at Channel 7. So let's take a quick look back now at some pretty awful career that he had here at Channel 7. know what to make of this weather time you're still looking at that garden cindy would you believe there's a lot of green tomatoes here for one thing i'll still take the old woolly caterpillar or the uh, fur on a on a horse as a good indication as to uh, what kind of a winter it's going to be kids at rehab we love you commander tom with appreciation the 20th anniversary variety club telethon Thank you very, very much. If you haven't been down by the river lately, I thought you might like to see what is happening down here. The ice flow is incredible. Huge chunks of ice and going by at a pretty, pretty fast speed. We uh, certainly hoped that the weather would turn nicer today, but unfortunately another system came in with the clouds. Oh, 
Uh, when I said awful, I meant awfully awesome career that Tom had here at Channel 7. There's much more to come over the next 90 minutes. We have a big party planned for Tom, so don't go away. We'll be back. Kathleen, back to you. Okay, thanks, Keith. We'll be right back. Stay with There's one in every family. The person who's always telling you to button up your overcoat or put your galoshes on. He's Tom Joes, the weatherman. And he's part of the Eyewitness News family. The family that cares about the people of western New York day in and day out. So to find out how to dress tomorrow, watch Tom Joes tonight, only on Eyewitness News. Come on home. going ain't got a chance. He's a mother. The sky is clear and the track is fast. I know, Sonny, but actual weather says it's going to rain. Right. Right time once again checking that forecast and check on the food outside kathleen well this uh this weather set keith has never smelled better because charlie the butcher is here but as you can see tom joles our beloved tom joles who is going to be leaving after tonight is there in the back of the patio and he's saying hello to his family and friends and all of his colleagues and everyone and he's having a wonderful time as are all of us and uh charlie the butcher has been here cooking up a wonderful, wonderful yeah. menu for We were us. just talking. What, what's going the fastest, Charlie? I think the grilled chicken speeds are the fastest, but we, we do this in honor of Tom Joel's. We call this the Tom Joel's Mixed Grill. And there's a lot on the grill, too. Well, there's a lot here now because well, Keith hasn't been out here yet, but I think yeah. in about a half hour that's going to mm -hmm. change. Yeah, this, this is his row of bratwurst right there. Uh -huh. They're saving that up. And behind us, all the tables, uh, courtesy of ABC, they did a great job, came in here today and set all that up. Just fantastic. And it turned out to be a fantastic afternoon. Let's take a look at the forecast to show you what's happening as we look at Skycam 7 today. And it looks gorgeous up there. As we look at the waterfront, a great place to be this afternoon. And tonight, the temperature is going to drop into the 60s, 62 degrees. And unfortunately, we'll see a little bit of that sunshine disappear as we find increasing clouds. Then tomorrow, a high temperature of 78 degrees, but it will remain cloudy. And yes, the humidity will return to western New York. We'll see afternoon showers and thunderstorms. The wind will pick up. Those thunderstorms will continue as we head into the evening hours and uh, we'll find that uh, the temperatures drop to about 70 degrees during the evening. It'll be cloudy and breezy with yes, more, more showers and thunderstorms. In that uh, long-term forecast, the seven-day coming up in a little bit, we'll talk about that and uh, show you that there's a lot more heat and a little bit more humidity in the forecast as well. And out here, what a fantastic afternoon this for that. This couldn't be better. I think Tom ordered this special. You want to know what? That's Andrew Siff's plate. And he's know. pretty mad he's over there. He doesn't have <laughs> any way to get his food. standing there without anything. I, well, that's one of the benefits of holding the microphone. Is that's that exactly right. That you can right. cut into the line wherever you want. And it, the uh, line just stops. A lot of, it? it does. A lot of folks here, too, that uh, have let known let Tom. Stuck in ta that plate. Taking <laughs> the plate back. <laughs> But, uh, you know, we should mention, too, that people have been coming by the station for several weeks now. Every single day, Tom has been getting packages from all of his uh, friends in western New York, people that feel like they know Tom. Some of them have never met them. Some remember when he spoke to their classes. And the Backyard Barbecue is going to continue in, in next week, in the weeks to come. We're going to announce the winner uh, coming up in the next weather segment. So these will continue. They don't stop with, uh, with this well, one. Well, they're not always going to be in our backyard. That's I wish true. they were. That's true. All over <laughs> western New York, once again. But uh, that, that's basically what's happening here on the weather outside today. And uh, Tom will be doing the weather at 6 o'clock out here. And uh, that will be his last one. Uh, unless he's going to come back and fill in on a weekend or <laughs> Yeah, something. when you're on vacation. I don't think so. I don't think, I don't so. think so. So that's you'll have the seven-day so. forecast later come in this hour. Yep. Okay, good. All back right. to you, Keith. All right. Thanks, Kathleen, Andy. Okay. Coming up, lots more on the patio outside. Also, Mr. Food has something spicy for the grill. Tom, you are going to love retirement. And may you live long enough to get all those Social Security payments back from Uncle Sam. And then some. Good luck, buddy. Hi, this is Mike Myers. I grew up in Toronto, and I grew up watching Commander Tom, and I want to say congratulations. And uh, ground control to Commander Tom. And now here's a man who's made a career out of captivating children. Well, the commander is outside on the weather set again tonight, enjoying his final day of work here at Channel 7. You lucky dog. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, folks. We have a delightful group here because I say delightful. They are all employees of Channel 7 and some of their families. 
and they've come by to uh, say goodbye, I guess. And Charlie the Butcher is here cooking up another one of his marvelous menus. Charlie, what's on the menu tonight? Oh. Tom, we got a Tom Joel's Mixed Grill with those favorite chicken speedies that you love. Oh, I knew you wouldn't let me down, Charlie. Thank you. You know, I say uh, later on how important the people behind the scenes are here, how important they've been to me. And uh, these are just some of them, and uh, they're all enjoying this backyard barbecue, uh, we're, we're calling it, on this uh, final day of yours truly. And uh, I think everybody seems to be enjoying themselves. Is the food pretty good? Well, yeah. Hey, Tim Clark. Tim, it's great Tom to see you. Yes, sir. I thought you? it was. And Bob <laughs> Dossinger from the New York State Police. Tom, Bob, congratulations on your retirement. So nice to see you folks. Uh, you must have something there in your hand. On behalf of the uh, State Police, the Troop A uh, members, and Major Michael McManus, I'd like to present a certificate of appreciation to you for your many, many years of support and uh, outstanding service to us. And we wish you a very happy retirement. And I'm proud to say... Uh, I hope I'm still a friend of yours and uh, I've enjoyed our relationship through, through thank, many, many years. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a fine officer, a fine representative of state police, and thank it's you. always been a pleasure to, to uh, talk to you. Thank you. Tim, what's thank, happening? Well, Tom, uh, as you know, I used to work for the old governor uh, before that, Mario Cuomo, and the last official act of his, you probably didn't know this, but he renamed the New York State Thruway <laughs> to Tom Joel's Lane. So uh, all you people out there, when you're tooling down the Thruway, you can go, what, 70, 85, Bob? Uh, <laughs> Cops will the, the problem the is I think you still have to pay a toll? No, oh, no. Okay. For you, Tom, of course. Oh, that's good. And, you, and of course, you want to keep that plaque that the troopers give you. We leave that right in the front window, okay? I think that's probably <laughs> a very good spot to put it. I love this guy. He's great. <laughs> thank you, Tim. <laughs> thank okay, you, Bob. You're welcome, and again, Tom. thank you to everybody here. Some of the faces are familiar uh, on the air talent, and the others are the folks that work behind the scenes that make this operation the success that it is. So right now, we're going to go back inside, and we will be talking to you a bit later. Well, Here on the weather outside. We've got a little surprise for you, too. Take a look at these pictures now. Look at the okay. screen. Look at the monitor out there. These are from the early 90s. You were reading to kids at a local uh, school. Yes. In the audience that day was Megan Sullivan, who is now working as a camera person here at Channel 7. Uh, she brought these memories in to share with you today. They say it's a small world. It certainly is, and she still remembers that, as many, many children do when you came to talk to their schools over the years. Uh, but, yes, I remember it well. You're still wearing that commander suit on the weekends, aren't you? <laughs> That's <laughs> to right. Mow, to mow your lawn, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, absolutely. All right, Tom, we'll check back with you. Thank you. There's more to come on Eyewitness News at 5. Sometimes the TV weather report seems to have everything except what you want. And so it is occluded in Newfoundland. Whee! Guess what's coming, weather bunny? And right you are! But Eyewitness News weatherman Tom Jones tells you just what you need to know. Well, the kids will need raincoats and galoshes anytime. AccuWeather with Tom Jones. Yes, we give it to you straight on Eyewitness rain. News. Much more than just news. Mr. Joel, so nice of you to drop in. Tom, I need a little favor for my favorite weatherman. Tomorrow, my daughter is to be married. And I'm counting on you and AccuWeather to provide nice weather. I would use news with Tom Joel's nice weather. Speaking of the weather, let's go outside once again to Andy Parker and check on that forecast and check yep. on the party. And uh, it turned out to be a salubrious afternoon. I use that word, uh, you know, in, in the place of the commander. That one will still go down in the, the history books as one of the, the best used words. And Mark from ABC, now we noticed the tables are here, but you didn't bring the giant slide. No, we didn't bring the giant slide. We were trying. We, we recommended bringing sumo wrestling, and we were going to have, you know, a farewell the, match with Tom, but, you The know, headless knights, the those headless guys? The headless knights are the jousting, yeah. But uh, the tables are fine. It looks absolutely gorgeous. We've got all the amenities that you could imagine. Uh, what, we beef on whack here. And uh, Keith, now they've got something special for you out here. Where'd that go, Charlie? For Wait Keith? A minute. I have it. It's right it here. Just we're there. trying to figure out something to replace from Herb. We yeah. have a roll with nothing in it for yeah. Keith Radford. They were worried about your teeth. Yeah. Something yeah. about your teeth. You're about as funny as a screen door in a submarine. You know that? <laughs> <laughs> I had to get you back. I had to get you back. But uh, a lot of stuff left out here. There's plenty for everyone, and uh, we're going to have everyone come out and take a look at this. It's a gorgeous evening around western New York. Skycam 7 can prove it. Take a look at this shot along the waterfront. 62 degrees.
freeze is that's where it'll dip down to this evening a few more clouds as we head through the overnight hours the winds out of the east southeast uh, they'll be rather light then as we head into tomorrow we'll find the temperature well going up towards the 80 degree mark 78 degrees for a high we'll find increasing clouds yes the humidity comes back to western new york and we'll find some rain showers and the thunder showers we head through the afternoon hours that'll continue into the evening as well and temperatures there dropping down into the 60s we'll find more in the way of precipitation that seven day forecast looks like this though take a look at the temperature all the way up to 90 degrees by the time we get into tuesday and uh, it's going to be hot and humid and it looks like the weekend will remain mainly dry with uh, one and a half minutes sorry they're talking in my ear to me today but uh, the weather looks absolutely gorgeous for the weekend we'll get some rain showers out of the way early but uh, as a young weatherman i have to say this you know you can get a weather stick for about oh three dollars and fifty cents you can probably get a gazebo like this one uh maybe thirty five hundred bucks but they have the opportunity to learn from a, a professional like tom jules well i gotta tell you tom that's priceless andy i appreciate it andy um you're a, you're a fine young man and i'm so glad that we have you at channel seven and from the very first day that andy came on board he was an intern it was a terrible snowy day and i had to stay overnight you remember that yeah blizzards won't be the same and uh <laughs> Without his help, we couldn't have done the done the show. So, Andy, thank you for everything you've done. Thank and you. as I say, you do that so well. Uh, I, I just I appreciate the opportunity. It's uh, a pleasure working with you, and uh, this weather set will always be yours anytime you want to stop back. I appreciate you. it. Thank right. you very much. So, what, well, we'll send it back inside. I, like maybe this weekend, Tom, because Andy would <laughs> like the weekend off. Those would be nice. I, I'm going to talk to the news director about that now. It, there may be a shift opening up or, or something. All right, man. We'll check back with All you. Right. Tom, I wish you the best in retirement. You know, you gave me my first break in television. Remember Sunday Surprise, Mark Twain, and most of my TV breaks ever since. We're going to miss you. Take the weather stick if you must, but please leave Dust Mop. He wants to stay here, don't you? <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> Tom, my long-range forecast for you is blue skies and a long and salubrious life. It's 6 o'clock, and Channel 7 Eyewitness News is on the air. You might call him an only on 7 original. Tonight, we say goodbye to the one and only Commander Tom Joel. Well, one guy who knows plenty about corn, after all, he worked with Irv Weinstein for over 30 years, is our own Tom Joel's. Tonight will be his last show. As you know by now, he is retiring, and to answer the question that he's been asked over and over again, Andrew Siff found out just what Tom is going to be doing when he walks off the weather set for good. Well, Keith and Susan, you get chills standing on the weather set tonight, and for a change, it's not because of the temperature. After today, you won't see a familiar face on this hallowed ground, and you might be wondering just what Commander Tom will be up to. Well, I guess we won't have any string beans this year, unless we uh, go buy them. Those who know Tom Joles won't be surprised to learn he'll be spending a good deal of his retirement outside, in the garden. After all, he spent 34 years on the weather outside, from his first day at WKBW in 1965. I remember walking into the lobby, uh, the old lobby there on Main Street, and uh, thinking, boy, this is, uh, is going to be different. It was different, all right. Tom was the only local weather personality to brave the elements, including the element of surprise. The mooning incident, the later on the snowball uh, incident that hit you in the face, you know, and I, each one of these occurrences, the manager would say, Tom, we don't have to do this outside. But they did, and alongside his Commander Tom Children's show, it transformed the likable Lockport native into a star. Tell us, Commander, what do you think? People were coming up to me and saying, I watched you when I was this big. Now they've got children this big. And that sometimes I've felt that maybe we should be still following that route, that path. These days, Tom gets to spend some more time inside as well. With his model train set and his Superman comic collection, inside his mobile home, his favorite way to travel. Takes a long time, but it's worth it for me. You know, I'd much rather be behind the wheel and inside his barn, where the first thing he does each day is clean the stall where Frankie the Pony lives. Frankie's about 30 years old. Wow. Frankie was on romper room. Tom's old stomping grounds at Channel 7 haven't been the same since Rick Azar and Irv Weinstein left, the commander completing the trio of retirements. And I always kidded uh, Rick and Irv. I was, the, I was the baby of the group. 
and uh, Herb was older, and Rick was older, and I, you know, I, so I think it was kind of felt that I would probably be the last one standing, so to speak. And now it's Tom's turn to get more leisure time. It's like a gift, uh, being home at night, because I'd worked nights for so many years that now, you know, you go to bed early, you get up earlier in the morning, uh, you don't have to unwind as much. And if the weather cooperates for this quintessential weatherman, the garden outside will be just fine. The aim is to have a weed-free garden. If you can do that, that's good. You know, I'm not as lucky as many lifelong Western New Yorkers. I never got to watch the Commander Tom show, but I have had the privilege of working with Tom Joles over the last three years, and that's an experience that I'll always be proud of. Good luck, Tom. Let's send it back inside. Did he let you drive his tractor, Andy? No, that's, that's his job out there on the farm. Did Keith. you get to ride Frankie the Pony? That's what we... <laughs> Again with the abuse, guys. This is Tom's day. <laughs> Thank right, you, Andy. Thanks, Andy. Stay with us. We'll have much more on The Commander coming up. When Eyewitness News continues for Buffalo, New Fane, Orchard Park, and all of Tom's hometown. Live from WKBW-TV, this is Channel 7 Eyewitness News at 6 with Keith Radford, Susan Banks, Tom Joles with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast, and sports with John Murphy. We just heard from Andrew Siff about Tom's plans for what he's going to be doing when he is retired and a man of leisure. Well, that's the down-home Tom. How about Tom Joel's professional broadcaster? For that story, we went right to the source. When you go from um, blackboard and chalk to a $250,000 or more computer, that's quite a, uh, a leap in technology. And as you mentioned, the chalk, uh, we suddenly discovered that in the wintertime, uh, either the, the tile was too cold or something, but it wouldn't accept the chalk anymore. So we discovered grease pencils, you know, the makeup things that you go to the drugstore and buy. And then they too froze up. And so one night I was left with nothing to work with. I had, <laughs> I had nothing to, to write with. And that was the whole gimmick of, you know, you'd write tomorrow's high and this. I was just going through the motions, but nothing was showing up. In 1985, we had a bad one, uh, another bad storm, and I didn't get into work that day, and that was the first time uh, that I was not able to get to work because of the weather, and it was because it was a total whiteout. My son had a four-wheel drive vehicle. Rick Azar drove to our house. My son drove us in, and and brought us home at 11.30 at night. So we were very, very fortunate. That's what I remember most about it. The things that I don't like to think about are the people that suffered, even died, uh, in that uh, terrible, terrible uh, 48 hours or so. Amanda Tom was that wonderful free time that I was let go, I could do anything. Nobody ever said, hey, you should maybe take this path. Maybe you shouldn't do this. I did all the things that I ever wanted to do from the time I was a child. I had good deed doers. I had uh, uh, birthdays. I had uh, uh, riddles. I had kids draw pictures. They, they let me fly with it the way I wanted to do it for over 25 years. That was a great experience to get the kids' reaction to the puppets, and, and it was just marvelous. My wife does a lot of the selecting. She'll see something that strikes her eye, and usually uh, I'll go right along with it. I like it, too. And there have been some outlandish things that I've brought down through the years that were pretty wild and bold, but I did them only to try to be a little different. We, had a, we used to have a, a, a weenie roast, too. Uh, Irv, Rick, and uh, myself, and we would invite people to write in as to why they would want to be on our weenie roast. <laughs> that was Herb's. Uh, that was Herb's idea. There wasn't a day uh, that I did not look forward to coming to work. Um, it was always the element of surprise for weather. It was the fact that we did the live kids show. I mean, every, I, I couldn't. I couldn't be late because the show went on the air at three thirty, and if I wasn't there, there was no backup. So it was. It was a combination of those things. It was just the overall 
pleasure that I got from the work that I did. I never noticed Tom wore wild and outlandish clothes. No, did you? very uh, conservative. Not very conservative. I think we need the Brooks brothers. We need the weenie roast back. Oh, no, we think. do. When we come back, Tom will have his final hometown AccuWeather forecast. All right, Commander, I see you've got a flower. Now, listen, this is near and dear to me. It's my Chia Pet. I'm going to give it to you. What is it? It's his it's Chia, Chia Pet. Chia Tom. Pet. Oh, oh. I didn't have anything nearly as oh, nice. Oh, isn't that... It's very nice at Christmas time. It's naked right now, no. but you can, well, it did, grows hair. Does it come with seed? Well, I don't have any seed, but... You <laughs> but you're just giving me that. Take some with... sod out of the house at home. <laughs> All right. Thanks. It didn't work with seed, Tom. We tried so many times. Tom, well, I know that, you know, we've been saying goodbye, and we've had all... But people still want to know the weather. That's right, and we're going to tell it to them, and uh, it looks like it's going to be a little on the humid side and a little on the stormy side coming up, as uh, I thank... Uh, for, for getting this for me. This is so neat. It's uh, really neat. Kind of goes with the tie. Let's look at our current temperatures right now. Buffalo is 71 in Niagara Falls, 73 in West Falls. It is 70 degrees at this hour. Our dew point of 55, 54% humidity. The barometer is steady wind. It's out of the, uh, is that northeast? Yeah, it's eight, six miles per hour, no precipitation. Let's look at some temperatures tonight as we uh, move around the region, and here they are coming up right before your eyes. You know, it feels a little bit warmer than those 70s, but that's what it is. 71 in Batavia, 72 in Albion. Youngstown is 72, Ellicottville is 72. It's 68 in Salamanca. It is 68 in Arcade. 69 in Orchard Park. Our high temperature today, lovely day, 72, a low of 51. 79 and 60 are where we are in the averages, and the records are 94 and 46. Precipitation, is there any around us? Shall we take a look and see? Not really. That precipitation will be a while before it gets in here, but there is some activity way out to the west that will be coming in here as a result. Now, a warm front coming in here tonight will set off some clouds, and maybe by tomorrow midday we'll be getting some showers or thunder showers. That will continue then into uh, the end of the week as we get some cold front to move in. And as this cold front moves in, we'll get some showers along with that and scattered thunder showers. The weekend may stay to, uh, start out with a little shower or a thunder shower, but by the end of the holiday weekend, you're going to be saying, Whoosh, it's going to be another warm one. So tomorrow, we'll be getting close into the 80s once again. The 90s and the 100s continue to dominate out in the southwest. Well, our AccuWeather forecast for tonight, it goes like this. Low of 62, increasing clouds overnight, with east-southeast wind at 5 to 10. Tomorrow, a high of 78, cloudy and humid. Afternoon showers and a thunderstorm. South wind at 10 to 15 tomorrow night. A low temperature of 68, cloudy, humid, and breezy with a shower or thunderstorm southwest at 15 to 25. On the old almanac tomorrow, 539, 858, 78, and 60 are the average high and low of the lakes at 69 and 60. Now for the last time. Here's that long-range forecast you've been waiting for. <laughs> Then tomorrow, 78 degrees with some showers later in the day. 78 on Friday. The sun should peak out once or twice. 82 on Saturday, moving into the weekend. Now, Sunday, 85, but look at Monday, celebrating the 4th of July, 89. 90 in, on Tuesday and 88 in Wednesday. So our friends in Canada will be having a nice day for uh, their holiday, and it looks like we're going to have a good one, too. Words tonight, then. May all your days be salubrious. I can sign Thanks, Tom. Don't go away, because Tom has some parting words coming up at the end of our newscast. Stay tuned. For 25 years, it was Irv, Rick, and Tom. Rick retired almost 10 years ago. Irv retired last year. And now, it's my turn. I'd like to say a few words of thanks to some people who have been very important in my career. First of all, I thank the Lord for being with me every day and helping me and guiding me and assisting me. I thank the loyalty of my wife of 44 years. Jan, you were with me at my side all the time through thick and thin. To my six children and their wonderful families, I thank you for your support. And to my mom and dad who are watching from above, I know, for their great push in the beginning of my career. I remember my dad saying, 
because there had never been any broadcasters in our family before, my dad said, Thomas, make sure you have something to fall back on in case this radio business doesn't pan out. Thanks, too, to my mother-in-law, who has been always there for me whenever I needed her. And thanks, of course, to the folks at AccuWeather, who provided me with all the forecasts down through the years. Thanks to two, in particular, teachers that were responsible for my getting into the business. Mort Clayman of Lockport, Rachel Flagler, who was my guidance counselor in Lockport, who set me on the road that I followed. To Red Cook, a program director who one day came up to me back in 1965 and said, I want you to be Commander Tom and do a children's show. And I went with it for 25 years. And what a ride that was. To capital cities, to Queen City, to Granite Broadcasting, who have been so good to me, to all of the station managers, the program directors, the production managers, the news directors, the producers, the directors of the news and weather, and all of my co-workers, the ones that you don't see, the ones that are behind the scenes, the ones who make it so pleasant for me to come to work every day, for the on-the-air talent, and I could mention each name, but you all know who you are. You are the best in the business here on Channel 7. And I want to thank, lastly, all of you, the viewers, both in the United States and in Canada. I feel as though I'm the luckiest person in the world who have heard from so many of you with cards and letters and email and gifts. Thank you for those words of encouragement, for the words that say, have a great retirement, because that's what I intend to do, is have a great retirement. So I say to you, may God bless you, and may all your days be salubrious. So long, everybody. And so this is it for the commander. The day has finally oh. arrived. It's an end, but it's a beginning, right, Tom? Tom That's that, right. That it's, was beautiful. Thank you. And thank on behalf you, of everyone here at Channel 7. Oh, thank you. These we are... stole every flower in Buffalo <laughs> to give beautiful. this to you. So nice. Thank you. And again, as I said before, how much you both have meant to me, and of course, Irv and Rick down to the years, and everybody else here at Channel 7. Thank you, thank you, thank Look you. Look who's here, Tom. Speaking of Irv. Irv. Tom. <laughs> Tom. <laughs> <laughs> You said it would be great. Yep, and it is. Uh, we're going to do all of the things that you weren't able to do while you were working, Tom. I don't know what they'll be, but, <laughs> but one thing I can promise is Tom's going to have more fun than any one human being should have. I never but, knew what a big kid you are, Tom. Oh, I, oh, Toy yeah. trains Just, yeah. and your Superman comic. Yeah, that's that's it. That's me. You can ride Frankie the donkey all day, ride your John Deere tractor, do all right. that stuff in the house. That's Eat right. the chickens. Yes, and the well, goats. Me, Tom. You know. oh, thank you. Thank I know you. Rick that's Azar right. did this for you yesterday. <laughs> Running crazy. noses are... I must be the allergies in the... It, it must be the air. That's it. Yeah. Anyway, thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Tom. It's been great on behalf of all of us here at Channel 7. Uh, we certainly will miss you. It will never be the same. Uh, Twelve years that I've been here, much longer for Irv, much longer for Susan. Um, I hope you'll come by and see us once in a while. I will. I will. Thank you. And, and if you bring ever get a, Frankie. Yes, bring That's Frankie the donkey. And uh, yeah. don't wear that jacket next time you come back, all right? <laughs> never wear this jacket again, right? If you have any problems with receiving your social security checks uh i have a special number it's, it's direct to the president's office i figured you'd and, have that you know yes. because he loves the media yes he sure. does thank you thank you for taking a, a sentimental lovely moment <laughs> <laughs> thanks for coming back you guys have been the greatest thanks. you taught me so much over these last 22 years and i i thank you from the bottom of my heart thanks again tom thank you thank you thank you Bye -bye. that's it for now we'll see you tonight at 11. <laughs>